Welcome to the last in a series of instructional videos explaining how to successfully install and commission the SolarEdge TerraMax inverter. In this video, we will show you how to commission the inverter using the easy-to-use SetApp mobile app. We will demonstrate the installation of a system containing more than one SolarEdge TerraMax inverter. First, download SetApp, open and sign in. Scan the QR code on the designated leader inverter. Once the inverter is identified, move the P1 sewer switch to P position, then release within two seconds. Tap Continue. Setup will automatically start by connecting to the Wi-Fi network of the leader inverter. Once a Wi-Fi connection is established, tap Continue. Now Setup will automatically update the firmware of the inverter if needed. One of the two screens will appear the left option screen in case firmware is not up to date, or the right option if updated. Once the firmware is up to date, the device will automatically be activated. Tap Continue. While on the commissioning screen, you will notice that the auto pairing process has started working as indicated by the blue banner at the top of the screen. Once the process ends, tap Country and Grid. Choose the relevant option from the Country and Grid drop-down menu. Make sure you choose the Country and Grid according to local regulations. Tap Yes to approve and then tap Done. Tap on the back arrow. Tap Power Control. If needed to set reactive power configuration, tap Reactive Power. Set static reactive power by setting COSFI or Q. If needed, set reactive power dynamically. Once set, tap back until returning to the main commissioning screen. The SolarEdge TerraMax inverter supports central upgrade. One inverter acts as the leader inverter. When daisy chaining inverters, the one managing the internet communication is called the leader and the others are followers. Tap central commissioning to proceed with installation of multiple inverters. Before continuing with central commissioning, ensure all followers are wired correctly. The termination switch is set to ON on the first and last inverters on the bus, and the leader inverter's commissioning is completed. Tap OK, understood. To detect all follower inverters connected on the same CAN bus, activate the follower detection by tapping Detect Followers. Tap Start. Now the leader will detect the connected followers inverters. Tap Finish Detection when all followers were detected or wait until the process ends. After follower detection, the leader will automatically analyze and improve the communication quality with followers. At the end of the follower detection step, you'll see a list of all detected followers. If all followers were detected, tap Continue. If not all inverters in the system are identified, check the connectivity of the inverters and tap Long Detect Followers. Please note that during central commissioning, the followers will automatically perform pairing and start producing power. Tap Continue to approve automatic pairing. Two scenarios are possible at this stage. Automatic. All followers upgrade together centrally. Manual. Each follower scanned and upgraded individually. Setup will guide you to the relevant scenario based on-site communication. We'll detail the manual process later. Now the setup will continue to the follower's upgrade and activation step. The leader inverter will send the relevant firmware to start upgrading and activating its followers. Once the central commissioning process ends, a list of successful and failed inverters will be presented. The successful inverters will be displayed with the number of their detected optimizers. This number will continue to update until all are found. In case there are failed inverters, tap Select on the top right. Choose the failed inverters from the list and tap Retry Commissioning to Selected to try again. To verify production, connect to each follower and look at its status screen. Since central commissioning is activated based on the on-site communication performance, in some cases, Setup might guide you to commission each inverter individually. Start with the first follower inverter and tap Continue. Scan the QR code on the designated follower inverter. 
After connecting to the inverter, the firmware upload process will begin. When completed, go to the next follower and tap Continue. Scan the inverter QR code, connect to the inverter, and wait until the firmware upload is completed. Do so to all follower inverters. After upgrading all follower inverters, return to the leader inverter and tap Continue. After connecting to the leader, the central commissioning process will be completed. That's it. The Solo Edge Terramax inverters are fully installed and configured. For more information about the Solar Edge Terramax inverter, visit our Edge Academy and YouTube channel.